Good morning, everybody. Today we're here again for, for another lesson on how to overcome these seven deadly sins. Today we're, we're going to be talking about how to bring peace to the, the wrath that, that's inside of you. Now, what is wrath? Wrath is expressed, is unjust expressed anger. <clears throat> wrath is unjust anger expressed towards something or someone. <clears throat> wrath is anger that it gets to a point that it's destroying you, who you are as a person and can destroy the life and the people around you. Typically, wrath, when it's talked about in the Bible, is referred to God's wrath against sin and, and the people who commit these sins. God's wrath is always just because it's always towards the sin itself and never towards his people. So if a person is committing a sin and the main sin that, that leads to every other kind of sin is unbelief in God. So this unbelief sin in God and everything that he says and has for us, it it angers him because God made us. And so when when we as the, the, the creations of God go against what he's he's blatantly told us to do or blatantly told us not to do, whenever we go against that, God is angry. And so God's wrath must come to to d destroy the sin in our lives because he loves us too much to let us live in sin. Human wrath, human wrath is always unexcusable because our our own anger and wrath towards towards each other is not how we are supposed to act as godly people because revenge belongs to God. Now, I'm not saying that you're not allowed to get angry because that is a normal human emotion. And, you know, we, we feel those things because we are human. We're not perfect. But it, it's the choice to act upon the wrath and to let that wrath feed on your soul that destroys our lives and draws us away from God. Examples of wrath in our world today are, are like uncontrollable anger where we just, we get so angry about something or angry towards someone that we end up lashing out at them or or doing any manner of things that that destroy rather than build up and these things can come out as you know coarse language debilitate um destructful love of the language towards other people it can manifest itself as abuse or anything like that 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 um goes against what we're, what we're supposed to do as God's people and that that is to spread the gospel and to uplift each other so like I said why is wrath a sin because it gets in the way of God's plan for us wrath
Human wrath is a sin for us because it gets in the way of what God has for us. It, it gets in the way of all the love and the peace and the joy that we can have in our lives because we're just so angry and anger anger takes can take hold very quickly. Now the difference between human wrath and God's wrath is because God always has wrath towards sin, never towards his people. Even even when God um, is upset with us and chooses to allow certain things in our lives, it's never wrath because it's always there to build us up. Wrath can never build up. Wrath can only tear down. <clears throat> and human wrath is is a sin, especially for for us Christians, because how can we say we love God but hate our neighbor? You know, our neighbor who we have seen, but but we've never seen God. So how can we say we love God whom we've never seen, but we hate our neighbor even though we <laughs> interact with them every day? Um. How to overcome wrath in your life and to bring peace back into your life. The number one is to always repent. As with every sin that we've talked about, repentance and turning towards Jesus and away from that away from that sin is the first and most important step that we can ever take. And we have to pray for peace. We have to pray that God gives us his peace that passes all understanding. We have to acknowledge God in all our ways. And he will direct our paths towards peace and away from that wrath. Number two, take, try, try doing exercises or activities that relax you well. Never the urge to express your wrath happens. So taking deep breaths or um, stepping away from whatever it is that that's about to make you angry, you know, but those type of things help us to avoid the sin of wrath. Number three, leave leave the clap back to God. Okay, it's not our job to clap back, no matter how popular it, it is to do so in our community, in our society today. Clap back is always God's business. And number four, avoid people, situations, places, areas, anything that would that would that makes you angry unjustly. Avoid those things at all costs because. Losing your peace to wrath, it's it's never worth it. It's never worth it to to be angry towards that person because you end up um, losing your peace a little bit, and that's never worth it. Um, some examples of justifiable wrath. And the word is um, can be found in Matthew 21, where Jesus goes into the temple and starts turning over the tables that, that people are are um, whether gambling or s selling things or doing every other thing that that they're not supposed to be doing in the temple. That was Jesus expressing his wrath on. For those things that that people were doing, but he didn't abuse the people. He only abused the sin. And Genesis 31 with Jacob and Laban. That's another example of justifiable wrath in the Bible. Unjustifiable wrath. The the primary example that everybody knows is Cain and Abel. A brother killed, a man killed his brother, 
for being because he was angry at him on the way God blessed him and then you know on the way God blessed his brother rather and not blessing him so he decided to kill his brother that's unjustifiable wrath because it's unjustifiable and another one is Matthew 2 16 with Herod choosing to kill all these children just so that he wouldn't lose his position to Jesus, the Messiah that was promised to come. Let's pray. Lord, Father God, we pray for your peace. We thank you for your peace that, that you've promised us. We thank you for the renewed graces that you have for us every day. The grace that can bring us peace whenever we have wrath, Lord Father God. Lord Father God, we we plead the blood of, of the Lamb, Jesus, Lord. We, we plead the blood to cover us and to bring us peace and to extinguish the, the wrath that is in us. Holy Spirit, we need you to guide us towards that peace. We need you to guide us away from this wrath. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hope this helps somebody today. Bring peace over your life. Help somebody else bring peace over their lives. Draw closer to Jesus. I love you.